And now, weighing in out of the blue corner, Josh the Pong Thompson. 100% agree. And on the other mic, he weighs in from the red corner, Big John McCarthy. All right, well, Islam Makachev has come out and given some words of encouragement to Mr. Patty Pimlet, where Patty the Batty has been told that, hey, man, you know what? You're all, you're right there, you know, just maybe a f- one or two fights away. You could be fighting for the championship. I think Islam Makachev is a very nice person and a person that is there to give encouragement to everyone. And he's looking and saying, Patty, come on, come my way. I got something for you. That is not something that Patty wants to take on right now. No, it's not something he's talking about taking him on right now. He's got two fights, maybe three fights to go until he gets there. And I'm looking at the rankings, John. That's a year away. Yeah, it is. It is. But then also, Islam's got some work to do also himself. He's got Armand Sarukian. He's probably got Gamrot. If Gamrot gets past Dan Hooker, then I think it'll be Gamrot. I feel like the UFC is trying to set up people to challenge Islam. And who are those guys? The ones that can wrestle at a high level. Gamrot and Sarukian are the two that will challenge him the most and the title and it, while he's the champion. And after he beats so too, he might bounce out unless Patty's ready to go because Patty is considered to be his probably Conor McGregor fight. If I'm thinking out loud and I'm saying the Patty Pimlet fight will be his Conor McGregor fight if Patty has a run towards the title. Islam finally dispatches of Sarukian and Gamrot. That puts it about a year out, maybe into, you know, pretty much a year. Two fights within, two to three fights within this this time frame. Patty, I'm gonna make it an easy. I'm gonna make it easy for you there, John. Patty fights Moicano, or he fights. Um, well, he's not fighting Moicano. Moicano's fighting coming up. He is, but I think they'll end up making that fight. Okay, that's the fight. But look, let's just say he fights Dan Hooker. <clears throat> After Dan fights Gamrot, okay, he fights Dan Hooker. That's a good fight. That's a good fight for him to make a step up in the right direction. Then I think if he doesn't get Dan Hooker, he gets Moicano. Moicano's fighting who? Who's Moicano fighting? Mm, I forgot I who he's fighting. Now. Oh, Michelle uh, Denise, San Denise. So I mean, oh, that's right. Benoit. Yeah, Benoit Saint Denise. But I look at I look at that fight and I think to myself, if he fights Moicano, or does he take a big jump up and fight Benoit Darius? A win over Benoit Darius puts him in a good position, grappling wise. He could be. He could kind of be there with him a little bit. I think Benil is probably the better grappler. Benil's a better and, grappler. Okay, but I think I think there's something there. There's that you can build on what his confidence is right now. Benil coming off what? Did he, did he lose his last fight, Benil? Yes, two. The Charles Oliveira, right? He lost to yep. Charles, and he lost one before that or after that. So he's losing coming off two losses. But my thing is, Benil's a big step up. That puts him at number seven. And then you take him to somebody up there, maybe, I don't know who, but you say like a Justin Gaethje. <laughs> You're saying, mm-hmm. but look, if the fight hits the ground, he's got a, He's got a chance. On the feet, I don't think he has a chance. But is Justin Gaethje still the same person after his fight with Max? What are we going to see from him coming back? Who does he fight next? I mean, he's got, you know, he's got a long road back too and trying to get the, back up to the top. So those are two fights. And I, I think... Let's say Benil. Benil. What about a Michael Chandler fight? Benil lost to Armin. That was the other guy. Armin Sarukian. Yeah. He lost to Charles before that, correct? Yep. Yep. So I say if you put him up there against Benil, then you maybe have him fight Chandler. Gamrot's going to jump up a little bit. You have Dustin, Gaethje, and Charles. You know? I mean, like, I think after he's going to keep – if he keeps training – the Benil and Ariush fight would probably be there. Him and Mui Kano, that'll give him that next step. That's a big jump up in competition. Either guy for him. Give me somebody else, John. After after he gets a, if he does get a win over those two guys, I'll look, I'm just thinking in terms of the easiest way for him to get to a to an Islam fight. And I'm not saying that those fighters are not going to beat him. They they have a very good chance of beating Patty. But I, I'm being the one saying, hey, the, this is kind of the road if we're going to get him there. Is going to have to be like a Benil, a Mary, a Moicano, and then maybe 
maybe a Charles slash Justin. I don't know. I don't know. And I, at the top, it gets real, it gets real dicey because I'm, I'm only seeing him where he's at now. Bet US, America's favorite sports book and casino. Live betting and race book. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. Hold on. If you if you're looking for Patty to get a win when it gets into the top five, <laughs> that's not an be easy hard. thing to do. Yeah. No, I'm just not. being honest. And that, this is not, I'm I am in no way. Uh, trying to put down Patty Pimlin. I think Patty's a good fighter. I think he's got he's got a lot of things about him. I think he's great with the crowd. I think people love him. That's always a good thing. His ground game is damn good. We've said it for you know a long time. When he was in Cage Warriors, I used to watch him. And he's got a good ground game. He always has. His stand up is coming along still. It's still it's still a work in progress, especially when you talk about a Justin Gaethje. Mm -hmm. That is that's a fight right now that I just don't think that you know he is prepared for because his takedowns are not good enough to get Justin in a position where Justin's going to have a problem with him. And you can take a look at, you know, all those guys top of Chandler would be the one fight that I look and I go, I still give the advantage to Chandler, you know, but Chandler doesn't wrestle that much and he'll stand with him and he'll, he'll bang with him. And I think they're, you know, they're close to on par in the standup. I think oh. Chandler's got more power overall. I think uh, Patty's got more length, so it's it's close. But you know, that's the one fight. If I'm going to look and say, when you're, you 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 had the the Connor versus Chandler, well, just you know go to you know one A versus two B. Hmm. It's going to be Ch Chandler versus Patty. I like it. Okay, but then he's going to have to get past somebody there. So you have been, I have the Darius and Chandler. Get past but when there. you get past one of those two guys, your next fights are You're going screwed. to be Sarukian. You're let's screwed. Just, say You're yeah. just let me give you, you are screwed. He does not match up well with Sarukian at all. None. Okay. Yeah. Not at all. Because even off of his back, he's good. But Sarukian's been there with guys like Charles Oliveira. Mm -hmm. And Patty's not as good off his back as Charles. So. You know, he's not going to catch him there. So you can take a look at, okay, Sarukian's out. Now let's take a look at Oliveira. How's that for a matchup with him? That's not a good matchup for him. Stand up or on the ground. He's losing that battle. So that's not a good one. Justin Gaethje, not a good fight for him. What do you have? Uh, the only guy that I, and this is not a knock at Justin at all, is because he doesn't wrestle as much as he could or should, or, you know, he got away from his wrestling. It's been, yeah. he t he's talked about it. Is is it if Patty was able to get the fight to the ground, he could have some success there. That's it. That's the only. Ain't that's happening. the only one. That's the only way I could go with this, John. Yeah, ain't Look, happening. I'm playing the other side because you, you are, are playing. So you are playing the other side, and I appreciate you playing yeah. the other side because you are part of the other side, mm -hmm. and you're a believer that right. Patty Pimlet is going to get a win over Justin Gaethje. And here's where I call bullshit. <laughs> I didn't say that he'll get the win. <laughs> I'm saying if there was a chance or an opportunity for him to fight a top level guy in the top five, the one guy would be Justin only based on that. Justin, that he might be able to get the fight to the ground if Justin trips and falls. Trips so if falls. he, if he falls like down, now, like now we have him. Now we have Justin Gaethje performing like Joe Biden. <laughs> if Justin Gaethje was to throw a kick, which he throws kicks, and Patty could catch it. But look, let's be honest. The the fight that will catapult Patty into the top, it doesn't matter whichever one, Conor McGregor. He fights Conor, and then that fight puts him right wherever, wherever, if he beats Conor McGregor. I say skip all of these guys, and Patty fights Conor now. Skip all of them. Maybe you fight one more time. Maybe you fight Moicano, or you fight... Uh, or you fight Dan Hooker one more time for you know to keep your ball to keep the ball rolling, but then you go right into the Connor fight because by then in about eight months Connor will be ready to fight, and then you can have Patty and Connor, which I think would be the biggest pay per view we've seen since Habib and Connor. Wow, that would be the biggest pay per view. Really? You Give me another pay per view so. that would touch it. Give me another pay per view. Well, hold that on, be close. hold on. Here, here's the difference: is you're, you're talking about Patty being a guy from England who is very well liked, and he's obviously deserves that and you're looking at connor being a guy from ireland and those two countries do what with pay-per-view i don't know but u.s people would watch it's connor u.s, US people, people would watch yeah but they're not going to watch it the same look at there's reasons why 
people watch fights and you know this one is i want to see somebody win many times it's i want to see somebody lose Mm -hmm. okay so when you have a connor versus a habib you you have just as many people tuning in to watch connor lose as people turn tuning in to watch him win there's that many people that want to see someone smash Connor, mm-hmm. and that's what they got. You know, you're not going to have that same thing with Patty. Yeah, the, different. Well, different. I think people will still tune in to watch Connor lose. Connor's gone off on this thing now, where he's just not even doesn't even. He's probably always been this person, but he's kind of lost the whole fan favorite thing. People now, I think, are tuning in to watch him lose. Well, I think, and in I think a lot Patty, of ways, I think you're right. And I think you're you're forgetting this. You're underestimating the ability of the UFC to market shit to anybody and they'll buy it. I agree. They you know what? They're job. fantastic at it. They are a marketing machine and you're absolutely right. They can sell ice to Eskimos. And this this is not one of those fights I think is going to be a hard sell for them. You got the young up and coming UK fighter to fight the old Irish fighter that basically set the world on fire. Now he's, it's a changing of the guard. We have his replacement. The UFC will run with the replacement of Conor McGregor. It just, I think it automatically sells automatically sells. It sells itself. You know, the whole UK will, the whole, all of UK will watch it. U S market will watch it. Um, cause we're groupies and then the Canada will probably watch it. Cause Canada just does everything we do. And, uh, you know, Australia, <laughs> Australia's out there on the island, right? But, I mean, they're going to watch it because they probably don't even like Connor. And, you know, it's like it's, it's going to be a change in the guard. It should be fun. It should be. I think I think that I wouldn't say it's going to beat Habib and Connor because there was so much animosity between the two, you it's know. But I think I think it'll be up there in the in the I think it'll be up there in the 1.2, 1.4 million views. My farm needs the earth, the air and the water. I get my energy going on Element Electrolyte Drink Mix clean good tasting energy that feeds me like i feed my plants and animals and after a long day on the tractor when it's time to shoot the podcast i drink elements so that i can stay energized and stay salty let's get it on okay that's that's a million views off of connor it is it is so it's not even close there, yeah, but Not there hasn't close. been the the highest ones have been like one four, so I think I think it ends up beating all the other past ones. Ends up being in the middle between two point four and one point five. Wow. I think is what the highest was. Boy. There was nothing I think higher than you, 1. you 4 need to get UFC. Bet US to put a, an odds on that one because I'm we going. Should. I'm I am absolutely going against you. Can you look up George? Can you find out what the what the pay per view? What what are the top five pay per views for the UFC? John Jones has only been in in one of them. I don't know if he's even been. I don't even, even know if he's been in the top. I don't even one. know if he's bro- been Maybe in the top. Maybe in the top ten. I'm not even sure if he's ever broke a million. No, I think he's somewhere around eight hundred and some. It's yeah, it was eight hundred. I thought it was like nine eighty eight or something like that. Is what he had. He almost had a million. So at number one, okay. we have Connor Khabib two point four. Number two, yeah. Diaz McGregor two one point six. Number three, McGregor Poirier two one point six. Number four, Poirier McGregor three wow. one point five. Number five, McGregor wow. versus Cerrone one point three five. Well, there's no doubt why you're going to say that they need Connor McGregor in yeah. there. <laughs> He's got yeah. every one of them. I love it. And then you add Patty to that, the new up and coming, the UFC will sell it. I think with the number, those are old pay-per-view numbers. Pay-per-view doesn't do what it used to do. So when I'm thinking about this fight, I'm thinking you get the whole UK market, you get the, obviously all of Ireland, which is only like 40 people. And then you get, you know, and then you get the US market and Canadian market. You'll get, you'll get some Japan, not many, but you'll get, you'll get Australia. I think you'll get it. My I think relative, they'll get about my relative. One, my relatives right now are fucking gathering up their weapons to come hunt you down in Texas. Come on over, William Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> Scotland. <laughs> Whatever. Same thing. <laughs> um, no, I, I think I think that it ends up doing really well. I think that it'll be in that one, one four to one six range. I don't think it beats Diaz. I don't think it gets one six. I think that that Patty and, and Connor is about one three to one four somewhere in there. Okay. It's up there in the top ones. I think it won't be up there, but it'll include Connor again. Yeah. And it, I really feel that it'll be that whole UFC market of changing of the guards, John. 
you know, it's not a bad way. If you look at it, it's not a bad way of uh, kind of making it happen. But I don't know if it really will be a changing of the guard. Hmm. It's it's one of those. Patty could lose that fight. Yeah, he, he could. Which I is think not one, a bad but, thing. But that's why I'm saying one fight with one win, whether it's Moicano, Dan Hooker, or if he's able to get all the way up to Dariush, one of those three guys, if he can beat one of those three guys, and then you set up the Connor fight, that that puts if he let's just say he does beat Connor, he doesn't need to fight any of the guys that would murder him, Saruki and Gamrot, J- Gaethje, Dustin. He would just jump right to be in the number one contender. Yeah. You know that's what the UFC would do. Yeah, I have an opportunity now to I make Islam him. versus Patty. Sign, they're good. It automatically they're going to take it yeah. for sure. So, I guess we're going to find out what Patty does if he stays on track. He keeps his weight down. He just look, focuses on his training. He can make a run. I, I I look at this version of Patty as far as he is keeping his weight down a little bit. It's not he's not ballooning up quite as he did. Look, he's been winning. He, mm-hmm. People can sit there and say what he wants. The guy keeps winning. 